Welcome, Dan Mama. Hi everybody, Kieran aka The Retro Load here. Um, new video, it's been a while so I thought I would get one done on this bank holiday weekend. I've had a little bit more spare time than I usually have to get one done. So this is one that so many people have asked me to do for quite a while now. So I've been really wanting to get it done. Um, and one thing I did need to get this done was some decent natural light, um, which you can see by the, the, the sun on the side of my face. There's plenty of that coming in. And it's going to be a video of my collection. Um, so you get to finally see the Laird's Layer, which everyone's been asking to see, as I say. Now, uh, I've been collecting now since 2005-ish, probably. And on and off, I've had stages where I've not picked up much, and I've had stages where I've picked up a machine and gone crazy. So this represents my collection going right back to 2005. I only have a few odd bits and bobs from when I was um, younger. Uh, most of that was 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 sold off or lost or whatever. There is a few odd still machines and stuff that were found in st in storage in my mum's and dad's places, so you will see those. But most of this is stuff I've picked up off eBay or retro shows or retro stores or whatever. I'm wearing my Atari hoodie as well to uh, to set the scene quite nicely. So I'm going to show you around the layer and. Uh, Take a little look at all my goodies and um, I hope you enjoy it and uh, let me know what you think. Cheers, see you all soon. Right, so let's start off. Here is my uh, Atari 130XC, the 128K version of the Atari 8 bit, complete with nice uh, creamy coloured joysticks. There's my XC12 tape player. XC light gun and these are some really nice uh, Atari glasses that somebody bought me for my for my birthday or I think it was my birthday um, a couple of years back I think they came from Think Geek there's Missile Command, Centipede, Tempest and Asteroids and moving on down from here we have my Mars System games. I've not got many of these. I haven't actually got a Mars System. I've just got the power-based converter for the Mega Drive. Most of these, actually, a big chunk of these I picked up from a branch of uh, cash converters, funnily enough. Let me move on to my Atari 8-bit cartridges. So there we have some um, third party ones, a few of these are actually still sealed, I still haven't opened them, as you can see. This has just got some actual uh, Atari 8-bit discs in it, various stuff, I think it's mostly like uh, spreadsheet programs and database stuff like that. Some of my original Atari 400, 800 boxes with their iconic artwork. Beautiful gatefold Atlantis box. And Butt Rogers Planet of Zoom there by Sega. Uh, my actual XE branded games. I would actually like to quite quite like to get a complete set of the XE branded games. Uh, I think there was 27 or something like that of them. But some of them are quite rare to pick up, so I've done quite well. I've got a couple of the rare ones already. But then the stuff like um, Into the Eagle's Nest and Mario Brothers that are now getting very, very hard to find. And a few, a few loose cartridges there. And some of the annoying big boxes that won't actually fit on any of my shelves. I'm quite pleased to get Donkey Kong because that's one of the harder ones to pick up. Go up to the top of my main big shelving unit. This is the one that you see behind me in most of my videos. My Pride and Joy, my Atari Lynx is there at the top. And then we go into my Jaguar games. 
couple of pro controllers there, tidy tunes. There's a few loose cartridges on the top. Let's just show you what these are. Brett Hull NHL Hockey. Because they didn't come with a box. Phase Zero, when I bought it, it didn't come with a box. They have actually made a box since, so I would actually quite like to get a boxed version at some point. Flashback, which is for some reason the only commercial Jaguar game I have that doesn't have a box. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to the box for it, because I'm sure I had one at some point. It's probably got lost in a move somewhere. And a few of these other prototype cartridges, I'm sure boxes will be made available for them at some point. Some of my Jack CD games. The main bulk of my Jaguar collection has just come out, so you can see it a bit better. And moving down, we have my Mega Drive. And right down the bottom there, more Mega Drive. See, my Mega Drive is all coded towards um, the box design and the developer. Give you a bit of close up look on what I've got. Bought a couple of my rarer Mega Drive games in there as well, like the Punisher. There. The EA games. And my, one of my favourites, my Malaysian Mega Drive pirate cartridge, possibly the funniest drawing of Michael Jackson I've ever seen. Still has the price label on it. And Japanese Mega Drive games like Gaiari's there and that Strider next to it. One of my favourites that I picked up recently. Homebrew version of Fix It Felix Jr. One of the more unusual items in my collection, a Systema 2000 handheld. I will be doing a review on this at some point. I've been saying that for ages, but I will get around to it. You can see there behind the Games Master cartridges. I'll go through them in more detail when I do the video. And my Atari shot glasses that I got when I got the other glasses. You see there's Asteroids, Centipede, Pong, Missile Command, Breakout, Battle Zone shot glasses. So my systems in the middle here, above my television. So you can see here. There's my Wii and my Dreamcast, my Jaguar, Jaguar CD, Sega Saturn, Philips CDI and my Turbo Graphics, my Atari XE game system, the, key the keyboard is actually just tucked behind it there, um, my Mega Drive Mega CD which is looking a bit dusty, I must give that a clean, and my Atari 7800 there at the bottom. I have actually got a little bit of a room there because I have actually got to get an Xbox 360 in there which is actually on its way to me at the moment and you can actually see my 3DS sitting on the table there and a copy of Retro Gamer handy you'll notice next to the TV I've got CD wallets either side which I've got all my CD games in so the next section we're actually moving on to is my CDI games at the bottom here I've got some of the video CDs and the movies and then going into the games I've got a pretty big collection for the CDI as you'll see I don't think it's a system that's as bad as a lot of people say it is it has got some really decent stuff on it um, you just have to look quite hard to find it because there's a lot of uh, 
crappy formation video games and such like on it. But you've got stuff like Steel Machine has a really good conversion of Lemmings. Demo's Quest is excellent. Pack Panic as uh, um, a Namco Arcade Classics collection. Tetsu Gaiden's very good. At the top, there's a few of my DS games and my uh, original Game Boy with some original Game Boy games actually stuck stuck in behind it there. I haven't actually got a DS in my sold it. I didn't see any point in keeping it because I've got a 3DS now. My Lethal Enforcers Mega CD pack with the Justifier or whatever it's called gun. Boxes, some of my systems, Jaguar, Atari 7800, my uh, Asian Mega Drive, which is 60 Hz NTSC multi region, and my PlayStation box, and um, my big box for the CDI Mad Dog McCree that came with the light gun. So, my next shelving unit you'll see is my Saturn games. Mostly PAL, I do have some Jap ones, I'll move on to them in a minute. I was trying to go for a complete set of Saturn games for a while, but some of them are, are really hard to get a hold of, especially stuff like Panther Dragoon Saga. So I've kind of given up on that for a while. I do sometimes pick up the sporadic odd one that I didn't have when I see it for a good price. Here's my Japanese Saturn games there. These are some Lynx homebrew cases here, like uh, Soccer Mania there. And the absolutely superb Poker Mania. My Atari user mug, Lynx flash cartridge, and some other Lynx boxes there like uh, Raiden and Fat Bobby. Atari 2600 games, these are ordered by the, the type of cartridge they are. With the 2600 I've never been that worried about collecting box games, so I've got mostly loose cartridges. I have got a pretty big collection but they nearly are all loose cartridges. I do have some box games which I will show you in a moment, but tucked on the end there, Turbo Graphics, the boxes. Uh, this has actually got my it's rather nifty Family Guy box has actually got all my Hue cards in it. They fit very nicely in that box. Copy of PC Engine Gamer there. And you'll see tucked in there my Dingo A320. Activision and Parker Brothers. Data Age. Some more odd ones there. Like my Tiger Electronics ones. The legendary source from Firefly. Two of the worst games ever made. Mattel cartridges. And that's a Atari plug and play joystick on the end there that I picked up. Nothing, it was just given to me. My few Xbox 360 games there. And you'll see there, um, there is Dreamcast games tucked in the corner with some Jaguar CD games next to them. There's my Pride and Joy, my copy of Gorf. Now it goes for ridiculous prices on eBay. Uh, my Mega Drive Ultimate Arcade Portable, which I have reviewed on my channel, so take a look at that. My Sega Game Gear, which I have obviously, Sega should I say, which I have reviewed on my channel as well. That's the box of my Atari headphones. My Lynx pouch. My Black Irish Atari 2600. I really like these models, which is why I've hung on to one of those. A set of keyboard controllers. My sh final shelving unit in my living room. The light isn't going to be so good here, but this is my Atari 7800 collection. I really do like the 7800. I think it's such a great machine. So I use it to play all my 2600 games as well. Although I do actually have an original Woody as well, which I'll show you shortly. This goes into some of my box 2600 games. I do have some. See, I've got a couple of rare ones there as well, like that Sancho Skin Diver. 
some of the stuff like Double Dragon and Commando, some of the newer games that were released. And these two are a couple of my favourites for the wrong reasons in a way, because they're just hilarious. They're some sort of bootleg uh, games from Korea or somewhere like that, and Mr. Postman has uh, one of the worst translations ever on a box. It's just an absolute nonsense, doesn't make any sense at all. Always makes me laugh every time I read it. Some more of my box games. Super Skateboarding for 700 in its massive box. CG Adventures, a brilliant uh, 2600 homebrew. And some of my loose 7800 games. There are a few I still don't have boxed. So I do need to actually rectify that at some point. And my wonderful Cabal mug. Which I got from Attic Bug. Um, with a brilliant screenshot of the Spectrum version. Coded by my good friend Jim Bagley. It was a wonderful, wonderful piece of coding. And that's basically it for my living room. So I'll just zoom back so you can get a wider view of, of the shelving unit that we just looked at. We'll take a look at the odd bits that I've got in my bedroom. Just before we move on to the uh, bedroom actually, I just realised that I, I somehow completely missed out my Lynx games, which is very remiss of me considering uh, the Lynx is my favourite machine. So this is a complete um, commercial collection for the Lynx, all boxed. So going up, it includes some of my nice rarities like my Japanese Klax. That's a Pecos bill for the CDI there that comes in some strange big box. Same with Cluedo there for the CDI, another big box game. And my Wii Zappers. And just next to my, my Lynx games is my um, Wii games as well. I'm a big fan of the Wii actually. I'm not known for my love of Nintendo. I like the Wii a lot. I think it's a really good machine. Um, I was given one a few years ago by by uh, Mr. Moo Town, so thank you very much for that. And um, picked up a hell of a lot of games for it since, as you can probably see. And uh, I think it gets a bit of a bad rap off a lot of people actually. So I think it's great. And when motion control is done right, it really does add a lot to the game. Like something like Boom Blocks, or uh, really adds to it. Bully, I think, is brilliant with the motion controls. Excellent. So there's a lot of stuff there. And just next to the the Wii games there as well. I'll just show you my Mega CD collection. It's not massive, but I've got some quite rare stuff in here, which you'll see, like the Law Merman. Brilliant Final Fight CD there at the bottom. So that actually definitely is my all that's in for the lounge so um, we will move on to the bedroom now so we're back in the bedroom I do have a few bits in here as well so there's my Atari 520 ST that's my original one that I had as a kid as well the ST mouse on that there's my Spectrum Plus 3 this is my see the next to the TV is my wood grain 2600 which is the one that was on the front cover of of uh, Retro Gamer. Just on the top of my bookshelf here actually you'll see a brilliant ocean history book and a brilliant Atari Business is Fun and a few other bits there. Uh, there's my Spectrum rubber key. Got to have a rubber key Spectrum, it's such an iconic design. And the boxes for my, actually they're in the boxes, it's my Atari 1050 hard drive, that's my 800XL computer and a box for my my VCS and just a box of the paddle controllers and the video um, sorry the joystick on the top there so that is basically oh I've got the PS1 there sitting on top of the television on its own doesn't get used a lot, there's some games for that lying around somewhere but I'm not sure where so that's basically it, that's my collection I um, hope you liked taking a look at it. I know I've had lots of requests for me to do this. 
and I've got some really good new videos planned soon. I'm going to try and get back on my game a little bit as, in terms of making videos. I've just been too re busy recently to, uh, to to get them done. I've also got something special planned for the Lynx's 25th anniversary later this year, so look out for that. I've been uh, the Retro Laird, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.